Welcome back guys to another video. So in this video, we are going to check out the all new Raspberry Pi camera module. So let's get started. Welcome back guys to another video. So in today's video, we are going to check out the all new Raspberry Pi camera module 3. So here we have the Novo one and then here we have the NOI one. But first talk about the camera V2. So here we have. So in the camera module V2, it's come with 8 megapixel Sony sensor and it has no autofocus in it. So right now, these cameras are coming up with 12 megapixel Sony image sensor and these cameras having the autofocus which is quite uh, you know needed from quite a long period of time and finally raspberry pi foundation introduced the auto focusing in this pi module cameras we also have the pi module and no ir which having no ir filter in it so it's quite helpful for night vision or any ir kind of stuff project so it's a quite a good thing so this time we have total four variants of this particular camera the two that i show in this video apart from that we have two more with a wide angle lens apart from it everything is same so they have wide angle lens so there is a some diff slight difference like the normal one has f1.8 and the wider one has f2.2 uh, and along with the wide angle as you know so you can choose accordingly your application if you want a wide angle lens in the normal camera you can go ahead if you want a wide angle in your uh, low light or nir or night vision camera you can also go with it so we have a lot of options this time so you can choose based upon your requirement or your project so these are the variants so let's move ahead so here we have the all new raspberry pi 4 which having a 4 gigs of ram so we are going to use this board to test out this all new camera stuff so let's get started so after installing the camera and booting the raspberry pi first we need to enable the camera from the configurations so open the terminal type sudo res pi config and hit enter now here go to the interface options and legacy camera and hit enter and yes now the Lexi camera is enabled. Hit finish. Now we need to reboot the system. So hit yes. So after the reboot, we can access our camera. So just open a terminal. Now to access the camera, we can run a Python code or we can access the camera using some commands. So these are the commands that we previously used like the respy still and respy video for capturing the video and the audio but these commands are not valid for now as raspberry pi remove these commands to try and just type the command and hit enter as you see command not found as previous version of the raspberry pi used this command but in the newer one this command is obsolete so we need to use the new command and that was this so here we have the new commands to access the camera First of all, use this command to check your camera is connected or not. Hit the enter. So lib camera command slash hello will check the camera availability. As you can see, we are getting an error, no camera available. So if you're using the Raspberry Pi camera module one or version two, then you are not gonna see this error and your camera will definitely work. But if you are facing an issue and your camera is not working, for example, let's try to take a picture. Here, yeah. as you can see, same, no camera error. So to solve this error, first of all, you need to update your SBN operating system to the latest one. If still you are facing this error, don't worry, I got you. So let's solve this issue. So basically the new, we have to set up the new uh, camera settings into a configuration file. For that type sudo, then editor nano. You can use any other editor as well. Then the location of the configuration file which is slash boot slash config which is dot txt and hit enter now we are in the configuration file jump to the bottom straight out of it 
so here I added camera underscore auto underscore detect is equal to zero then we have to mention the sensor uh, which is IMX 708 now to save this control X and then Y and then enter now our configuration file is saved now we have to reboot the system hit enter after the reboot now let's check the camera so as you can see we have finally accessed the camera here are some commands to take pictures and videos using the command line like to view the camera we can use this and to take the picture we can use this command if you want to change the format you can change it to png as well and then your file name as i mentioned test.jpg hit enter and here it take the pictures now it, it will save the picture into the home directory as you can see here so here we have a picture now if you want to just view the camera you can use now we can access the camera so as you can see the camera is working flawlessly so as you can see the camera is working flawlessly So this camera offers a autofocus as well. So as you can see, its autofocus is working great. We also have this NOIR camera version V3. We are also going to test this as well. So we have both the settings and the setup part is same for both these cameras and so you can use these commands to take pictures and videos using the new camera module. I will mention all the commands in our website article. You can check the article link is in the description below. So hope you guys like this video. If you have any question, then do let me know in the comment section below. Do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Till then, enjoy.